Hi, I'm Paige Hudson, author of the programs of Elemental Science, and today I want to share more about our Grammar Stage Classical Science programs, which are one of Kathy Duffy's top picks. Here at Elemental Science, we believe in the three keys to teaching science, so our Grammar Stage programs all include hands-on demonstrations, readings from visually appealing encyclopedias, and customized student notebooking sheets. Our Grammar Stage programs are designed for the elementary years, during these years, your student can learn about biology, earth science, astronomy, chemistry, and physics. Let's take a look inside our teacher's guide. Our grammar stage teacher's guides begin with a thorough explanation of the components of the program. This is followed by a book list with the required books and a list of additional library books. Then you will find a list of all the demonstration materials broken out by unit and week. After the introduction, you will find the lesson plan sheets. Each one begins with the topic for that week. This is followed by the demonstration for the week. This section includes the materials you will need, the instructions, some of which will come from an experiment book by Janice Van Cleve, the expected results, and an explanation. After this, you will find an ideas for taking the learning experience further, either through another demonstration, a STEM-related craft, or through a bit of research. Next, you will see the science-oriented book section with two options for spines, one for younger elementary students and one for older students. These scheduled pages will be followed by suggested discussion questions and optional additional books you can get from your local library. Flip the page and you will find the writing and project information for the week. The notebooking section gives you the topics and page numbers for the notebooking pages from the student workbook. After this, you will find optional lap booking instructions for the lap booking templates that coordinate with the program. These instructions are followed by the vocabulary words you can cover for the week. Then you will see a multi-week project and activities section. For each unit, there's a project for the students to complete, one that relates to the subject matter of the unit and takes several weeks. After this, you will find the page numbers that coordinate to the coloring pages which are fantastic to use with younger tag-along siblings. This is followed by several STEAM activities that relate to each of the specific topics from the week. On the next page, you will find the last bit of tools for you to pick and choose from for the week. The memorization section includes simple poems that you can use to help your students remember the key facts from the topics they are studying. After this, you find the page number for the week's quiz, which is in the back of the student workbook and the answers for that quiz. These simple quizzes are completely optional and can be used as review or for testing. The final page of the week's lesson plan sheets contains the possible schedules. The first is a schedule for the week's work broken down into two days. If you choose to use this schedule, plan for about 30 to 45 minutes of science work twice a week. The second is a schedule of the week's work broken down into five days. If you choose to use this schedule, Plan for about 20 to 25 minutes of science work five days a week. After the 36 weekly lesson plan sheets, you will find the appendix, which contains the templates you will need for the projects. These templates are followed by a glossary of the vocabulary terms used in the program. Finally, you will find several templates you can use to customize the program to fit your needs. Now, let's take a look at the student workbook which begins with a table of contents for easy reference. Each unit in the student workbook begins with the pages the student can use to complete the unit project. After that, you'll find the weekly sheets, one for the student's narration on the topic, and the second one for the week's demonstration. For both these sheets, you can have your student dictate what they want to say or have them write it on their own. After the weekly sheets, you will find an alphabetical glossary of terms for the students to use. Next are the project pictures and the memory work posters you can copy and use with your student. Finally, in the rear of the student workbook, you will find the optional quizzes. We also offer coloring pages and lap booking templates to go along with our grammar stage programs. Each one of our grammar stage programs have been written by a scientist and a homeschool mom. They've been designed to give you the tools you need to teach your elementary student all about the world of science. Visit ElementalScience.com to get started today.